Today it will be taken by Mark Watt. Now Mark has played for Lancashire, Derby and obviously plays for Scotland at the moment so he knows his stuff. Okay? So again, listening to everything he's saying, he will be taking you through a variety of drills and then just get stuck in and see how it goes. Okay, I'll pass you over to Mark. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, like I said, I'm Mark Watt. So let's just have a think about spin. Can someone tell me some different kinds of spin? Yeah. Off spin and leg spin. Off spin and leg spin, okay. Off break. Off break, yeah, off spin. Yourself? Finger spin. So that's pretty much off spin. So you bowl with your fingers. Uh, can someone tell me the difference between leg spin and off spin? There's a clue before it. Yeah. Yeah, they go different directions. Anyone else? So leg spin, you spin it with your wrist. So you generate all the revs from your wrist. And off spin, you use your fingers. So what we're looking to do is if you just pair up, and you're just going to go on one knee. Uh, I'll demonstrate. Andrew. And then you're just going to just throw spin. Rolling it out the front of your wrist. Yeah, using that, using your index finger to try and generate a spin on the ball. So this finger is like a hook. If you imagine like a fish hook, it's coming right over the ball like that. Okay. You might even get something to spin. Today we're going to try and work on just some fundamentals of spin. So in the first net, we've got uh, a drill to work on flight. So getting the ball above the batsman's eye line is, is key for spin. And that's, if you get it nice and high, it's going to come down and spin. So this one, so you're going to have to bowl and bowl it over the stump and get it in square to get a point. Okay? Hopefully, it should be something like this. Nice and slow, you don't need a big one up, nice and slow. So we're going to use this uh, slight hurdle here, and when you bowl, you really, for me, I'm left-handed, um, you really push down on that front foot. So there's a big difference between someone who's bowling like this, and someone who has a lot more energy, bowls like that. So we're going to try and create a lot of energy through our legs by going over the hurdle. I just want to stop, stand still, and then really push that front leg and push over. Try to land it on one side of the stumps. If you're a leg, yeah, if you're leggy. You're going to try to land on the right hand side and spin it past the stumps. And if you're an off spinner, you're going to land it on the left side and try and hit the stumps, okay? Uh, so I'm going to try and land on the right hand side and get it spinning past off stump. This is probably the toughest one, okay?
And in this knee, we're going to practice some variations. So my variation for myself is when I'm under pressure, you know, people are coming at me trying to whack me for six. I go, right, I'm going to go as fast as I can and bowl Yorker at their toes, okay? So let's try and have a wee Yorker lane here and bowl as fast as you can. Off a small run-up though, you're not allowed to charge in like Brett Lee. Off a three or four yard run-up and bowl as fast as you can at the toes. Okay, and we'll set up some bowl time. I believe that uh, spinners have a lot harder than seamers because we're trying to spin it out of our hand and go on a specific area where a seamers just run up and just pop it down. But we're trying to spin it into a certain area so I think it spins a lot harder and accuracy is one of the hardest parts. Yeah? Um, the standing straight when you're bowling. Yeah, so even yeah, so when you're bowling, one good uh, practice is just using a straight line and having this leg follow your front leg and just bowling and making sure that you're staying straight towards the target. Okay, so that's one way you can uh, try and work on that. Yeah? Speed. Speed. So this is a really hard thing for spinners and even in international cricket, it's very hard to bowl at a fast pace and spin it. That's why Rashid Khan is probably the best in the world because he spins it at such a pace. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get better at bowling faster and spinning it faster. So even me that's played 50, 60 games for Scotland, I'm still trying to get better at that. So. That's definitely hard one. Okay, so one massive thing uh, for spinners as well is that you do get hit for quite a bit some big sixes, and I've been on the fair share of a lot. And he's actually hit for quite a few sixes, and I not there, there have been some big ones. So that means that when you do get hit for sixes or runs, you're under pressure, and pressure for a spinner is hard. So, like you said, trying to spin it out of your hand with accuracy, all that times 10 when you're under pressure. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and create some pressure just now and see how, if you can still pull it as well as you have been with the one of pressure. The Great Wall, okay? We're going to have to, so it's last man stands. If you bowl it and you get in the corridor over the stumps, you go through and you stand here on the right, okay? And if you miss, you go on the left, okay? We're going to try it a few times and then we're going to be, it's going to be one run at the end. If you hit the magic green cone, you skip the next round, okay? And Mark. 